What's up guys? Big D Wiz, OldSchoolStereo.com. What do we have going on today? Well, my friends, as you can see, we have the O-Scope and the DD-1, but we also have something here that we've been trying to get for a while. And what is this, you may ask? Stick around and we'll find out. guys so here we have it a fully adjustable 250 amp power supply with up to 18 volts of DC output as you can see we got the large gauge here it goes from 0 to 250 amps and it goes from 0 to 25 volts doesn't adjust quite that high but still very cool when there's a switch here to go from volts to amps and there's a way to adjust it here the output it's a potentiometer and i'll show you that here shortly and there is the main breaker switch to turn it on and there we go positive and negative post easily marked so there is the power supply my friends as you can tell by the labels that we have put on here this is a custom made power supply and to my knowledge, there are very few that are this large power supplies for 12 volt applications. So a lot of them that are this large are custom made. And just so happens, you may notice that we have a dryer here and a washing machine here. And no, we're not washing our old school amps before we sell them. We don't recommend doing that. What we're doing is we need a 220. As you can see, input 220 volts AC, 30 amps. Well, if you have a dryer that is electric, you most likely have a 30 or 50 amp plug for your dryer. That's what we have. And since we haven't had a chance to rewire or set up a new outlet in the old school labs, we are using the laundry room, much to the dismay of my wife, all right, so I have her all plugged in, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn it on, and I've got a lapel mic on, so I'm not sure how you guys are going to be able to hear it, but it's pretty loud, so let's try it here. So I guess you can hear me over the uh, power supply, but what I wanted to show you is really cool. I don't know if I can show both at the same time. I'll try. This potentiometer that the guy used check this out really fine detail it takes almost a full turn to go one volt and that's really nice for doing this testing with the car audio amplifiers because I can set it I'm gonna turn it down a little bit more I can set it on 12 volts to test an amplifier you can see we're right at 12 and we have verified with the uh, fluke meter that it is dead on accurate then we could uh you know just turn it up and say well huh let's see if this orion hcca amplifier for example is regulated or unregulated so then we just turn it up to say i don't know 14 14 and a half volts and we could test it again and if the output is significantly different then we would know that the amp is unregulated so that's what's really cool about this and also having the ability to go up to 250 amps, which is, uh, it's not enough for all amplifiers today, but it's enough for most of the old school amps that we would ever test. All right, folks, well, there you have it. Just a quick test of the, or quick demo, I should say, of the power supply, the new power supply for the old school stereo labs, which will not be in the laundry room for long, this is just for a demo I want, wanted to do. And the reason I've got the O-Scope and the DD-1 hooked up is I wanted to check this baby out. Not really for just output power, 
but I wanted to find out if it's regulated or not. So that's been kind of an internet myth, legend, whatever you want to call it, that these amps are one way or the other. So I wanted to just verify it. So if you guys will stick around with me and check out my next video, that's what I'll show you. This is Big D Wiz. Oh, schoolstereo.com. I'm out of here.